Hello friends, this is Abba Nuff, Eat Fresh, Live Fresh, and this is day four of my 30 videos in 30 days. Today I'm going to be doing another audio video for you, and I'm going to be talking about the best vegan cookbooks for beginners. Um, when I first started out on the plant-based lifestyle, I found it really difficult because I couldn't really come up with recipes on my own, and I was just on YouTube all the time looking for recipes. And it's really nice to have all your recipes in one place that you can just um, refer to it and whenever you want to think up a new recipe or do something new, then you can just refer to those books instead of having to sort of keep searching online or just constantly watching YouTube videos, which is nice. Watching YouTube videos is nice, but at the same time, it's really cool to have everything compiled in one place. Anyway, let's get into it. And actually, before we do start, um, please do subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified when I do post up new videos. The first... Um, cookbook I'm going to talk about is Isa Does It by Isa Chandra um, and the, the recipes are quite easy and they're really nice as well. Um, I've been following Isa for a while actually and I recently picked up the cookbook and I really liked it. Um, one of my favourite recipes is the coconut chana sark recipe which is really 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 good um, as well as the um, roasted butternut alfredo. I've tried that too, it's not too difficult quite easy to, to create the recipes in there so if you're looking for easy recipes then check out that book I'll leave all links for these books in the description the next book is called Oh She Glows Oh She Glows Every Day and it's by Angela Lydon um, I don't know if you know Angela Lydon but she's a blogger um, and she's got a, book, a blog called Oh She Glows and it's an award winning blog and um, one of the recipes that I really enjoyed from this particular book is OMG Veggie Burgers and also the um, Ultimate Flourless Brownies. If you're into sweets and cakes and things like that, then this is a really nice recipe for you. Also, there's another one called um, Fusilli Lentil Mushroom Bolognese, which is a really nice comfort food, especially now in the UK and in other parts of the world. It's autumn or winter. And so it's really nice to have some recipes that are quite comforting. Anyway, moving on to number three. This one is called Veganomicon, um, and it's called The Ultimate Vegan Cookbook, and it's also by Isa Chandra, and, um, but with this book is including um, Terry Romero as well. Um, one of the recipes I really liked is um, a recipe called Samosa Stuffed Baked Potatoes. Sounds, sounds quite strange, actually, but it's really, really nice and really, really comforting. The next book is the Vegan Stoner Cookbook. There's a hundred easy vegan recipes in here and they have quite a few nice comforting recipes as well, as well as some really nice smoothies and sushi and sandwiches and cookies and things like this. So check that out. If you have a, a slow cooker, this is a really good book. Um, it's really good for mums actually because sometimes when you don't have the time to stand around stirring and cutting and chopping and doing all this kind of stuff, um, slow cookers are really good. You can just literally put everything into a slow cooker and just um, walk away <laughs> so you don't have to stand there stirring and keep checking to see if it's burning, etc, etc, etc. This is really good and this one, this book is by um, Rockridge Press. It's just um, sort of one of those generic books like um i don't know if you remember reader's digest and they have like various different recipes and life hacks and things like that and they put sort of compile various different um life tips into books or on various different websites um, this is similar to that um and the slow cooker recipes are really cool actually and quite easy to follow this next one is also by rockridge press and it's vegan cookbook for beginners um and one of the recipes that i really liked is the um, eggplant parmesan parmesan and also the pumpkin spice muffins as well really 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 nice recipes the pumpkin spice muffins are really nice for the autumn or for the fall and the eggplant parmesan as well is also really nice and comforting for the fall too um the next book is called the ultimate vegan cookbook for beginners and it is by jenny walker and what i like about this book is that it's not too overwhelming it's got 70 really nice recipes in there and it's really good for people that are just starting out on the vegan lifestyle or plant-based lifestyle and just looking for easy recipes that they can start recipes that are not too um 
intimidating. And my final one that I'm going to talk about is Gaz Oakley's Vegan 100. Um, I wouldn't say this is a book for rest for beginners because there's some of some of the recipes have got um, quite a few steps and it takes it can take quite long, but the recipes are really really nice and they're worth the time. Anyway, thanks a lot for listening. Please do stay tuned for day five's video and subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified when I do post up videos. Thanks a lot for listening. Bye.